Hi, welcome to the resource ebook tutorial video. Uh, this is just going to be a short video kind of demonstrating how to use our new resource ebook tool and as far as the benefits of using it and how to get it onto your device. Uh, my name is Jess, I'm your graphic designer, and I'm going to start by taking you through the publication. Uh, first, you can see we have the resource ebook on an iPad. Um, so you open it up, the cover is the same as your current edition. You just kind of scroll through the pages here. You can see all the content is actually the same, it's just formatted slightly differently. One of the primary benefits of using an ebook as opposed to the paper version or along with the paper version is that when you have a, um, a need to use one of the resources provided in the resource, you can actually use one of the direct links in the book. So um, you can see here we have a listing for Indiana Board of Accountancy, for yellow book information for the AICPA. So if you want to, you can just click one of these links and it'll take you directly to that website. One of the benefits of using the ebook on your mobile device, um, say if you're looking for a seminar or conference location, you can open the book up to our location section and we've put in links to a map to each of the locations. So you just click on the name of the building and it will open up a map to show you where you're going. Another benefit of using the ebook is kind of its um, searchability and bookmarking capabilities within your e-reader. So if you like, if you're looking for a specific class, you know exactly what you want to go to, you can click your uh, search tool within your e-reader, type in the class name, and find it that way. Also, if you're browsing classes, you're not quite sure if you want to sign up yet, you can bookmark pages, you can highlight, and it'll save it for you on your device so you can come back to it later. One of the primary benefits of using the ebook is that you can link directly from the class descriptions to register for that specific class. So if you click on the link featured in the class, on this one it's on the title, it's going to take you directly to the InkPass website to that specific page to register for that class, Audits of Banks. Now you can log into this, it's secure, it's just like being on our website on the PC, and you can register directly then while you're reading and thinking about it. So how do you get the ebook on your mobile device? One option is by going to the inkpass.org website through your device. Here you can see I've brought my smartphone up, and if you enter the inkpass.org website on your phone, it's going to open up the mobile version of our website, which is just the same website reformatted so it's easier to read on a smaller screen. At the top, we've added a button called Resource. Click on that, and it'll bring you to the screen about our resource ebook. If you scroll down, you can see we have instructions on how to download. If you're on an iPhone, iPad, Android device, um, you're going to want to download the resource ebook in EPUB format. If you're using an Apple device, we recommend using the Safari browser to do this. So if you click on that link, it's going to give me the option to open the file in my e-reader. I use iBooks on this. Open in iBooks. Now if you don't have an e-reader already loaded onto your device, you're going to want to do that. Um, most of them are free and you can just get them from the App Store. One of the new features in our e-book, if you're using it on a smartphone, is the click to call link. We've linked all the phone numbers in the book so that if you have a question, you can just call directly by clicking on the phone number. This also works for email addresses. So if you have someone you need to write, you can just click on the email address. And if you have your email set up on your device, it should just give you a new Compose screen. For our Kindle users who want to read the ebook, it's a slightly different process. The Kindle uses a uh, ebook format that's native to its application. So what you're going to want to do is scroll down just a little bit further to this paragraph where it says if you are reading on a Kindle device or app. Right here is the Kindle Fire. You could read this book on a Kindle Paperwhite or one of the other devices as well. What you're going to want to do is download the resource ebook in Kindle format. The easiest way possibly to get this to your Kindle application or Kindle device is to download this link on your PC or desktop computer and then go to Amazon and get the free application that's called Send to Kindle. This is going to help format it in the right way and send it directly to your Kindle account so that you could access it on 
you know, wherever you use your Kindle app. That's it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy the new resource ebook. Thank you.